This uh, steel belted Coleman cooler I found at a garage sale. It's kind of rough. It's got uh, carpet on the bottom. They told me that was to keep it from uh, slipping around on the pontoon boat. But it does have these uh, bottle opener handles. Fairly clean inside. I took the uh, I took the handle off so it'll fit in the box easier. And I'll just uh, tape that to the bottom of the uh, cooler here. But uh, these are always great sellers. This is the last one I have. I haven't found uh, any this summer. But uh, since last summer, I've sold about four or five of them. And this one went on True Gather for $60. This is a vintage uh, Coleman 200A lantern. Came with a few extras, like uh, extra mantles and uh, instructions. I wasn't able to test it. I, I pumped it up and it seemed to hold air pressure just fine and uh, sold it that way and it sold for uh, $130. I paid $10 for it at a garage sale and uh, after listing this and seeing how much this uh, how much value this had I uh, found another one at a garage sale and I paid $20 for it. This is a uh, 220H model and it's got a dual mantle going on here and this one uh, I just bought a restoration kit for it but apparently these are not worth nearly as much so I paid more for this and it's not worth as much so I may keep it and use it myself but this uh, small little red one with the single mantle uh, these have some value the date is uh, stamped on the bottom and this is from 1972 this is the uh, second set of Fox News uh, coffee mugs that I got for free in a box and uh, these are Fox News Sunday pretty large mugs and uh, they sold for $40 this is a Polaroid uh, 660 autofocus I believe it uses sound waves to uh, bounce off your subject and adjust the focus anyway I tested this with a uh, an old uh, film pack with uh, used film or used uh, pictures in it so I know the flash and the motor work and uh, this sold for $40 just a $2 garage sale find. This is a vintage California Angels uh, baseball hat it's canvas pretty good condition a little smudge on the crown right there but uh, this is old enough to be uh, very valuable this one sold for uh, $40 I actually had it priced at 80 but I've had it for almost a year now. Just a 50 cent garage sale find. And I got an offer yesterday of 40 for it. This is a uh, leather motorcycle jacket uh, made by Wilson. It's uh, definitely the 80 style. I know that because I bought this brand new in the 1980s at some point. Probably about 85, 86. And uh, I stopped wearing it in the 90s. And it's just been in the closet, and I finally remembered it and put it up for sale. And it sold for $60. This is a little Subaru remote control car by uh, Kyosho. It's still new in the box. I priced it at $80 and got an offer yesterday of $50, and I countered at $60, and they came back today and accepted it. Another key off the uh, Hammond M3 organ sold. This is the, uh, the G key. In case you're wondering and uh, this sold for just uh, three dollars but I've got uh, well two keyboard sets of these so uh, they keep selling the way they are once a month or so I'll be a millionaire in a couple of years this is a uh, cassette recording system that uh, syncs up with a, uh, a slide projector it's all boxed up and ready to go um, I found this along with another one at an auction and I got both of them for $2. Well, it's a good thing I did get both of them because I kind of had to salvage one to make the other one whole and it's all working. I've never seen these before, but uh, you use them with a slide projector or film strips. It syncs up and automatically will uh, uh, change the slide for you. And I sold this via the Global Shipping Program to someone in Portugal. 
for forty dollars. This is another Garrard turntable head shell. Make it out there. Kind of a embossed piece of metal foil. And uh, this is just a mono or, uh, late 50s uh, Garrard turntable. And this sold for $25. A couple more uh, model train boxcars sold. They sell for about $20 a piece. They're again from the large hobby collection I bought. And these keep selling a couple times a week. And uh, not quite as much as the uh, the locomotives. They can go over $100 sometimes, but I feel lucky to get about $20 for these because there's plenty of them out there for uh, less than that, but maybe they're not taking very good pictures. This is a vintage Mustang II model kit. It's partially built. You looked at all the pieces and they look like they're all there. Pretty good box. You've got the decals. Or in Canada, decals. And uh, this sold for $80. This is a uh, military extreme cold weather parka with the uh, faux fur trim on the hood. And from the uh, DLA number, you can tell it's from 1984. I found this at a garage sale. I got them down from, uh, and I, I think they wanted $20. And I bundled a bunch of stuff together. I probably only paid like $5 for this. When I got it home, I noticed that some stains on it, uh, most notably on the inside. So my uh, dreams of selling this for over $100 went out the window. But uh, it sold within uh, a week for $60. Another uh, Polaroid camera sold. This is a uh, 600 Business Edition. And what makes it different than the other 600 types. But. Uh, it was just $2 at a garage sale, tested with a, an older film pack, and it sold for $40. Another uh, vintage Halloween costume featuring the devil from Woolworths. The mask is in pretty good shape, but the uh, rest of the costume was uh, pretty well tattered. But uh, still got uh, $20 for this uh, vintage costume. Well, this just happened. The guy just left after giving me $700 for my uh, Magnavox Concert Grand console that I picked up at a uh, garage sale, or actually it was on Craigslist. They had it stored in the garage. I got it for $75. This is the granddaddy of all consoles, this Magnavox Concert Grand. This is from 1957. Features the AM FM radio, turntable, which works. And also a reel to reel player. Transport works on it, but the sound is just a buzz coming out of it. Place for record storage. It's in very good condition. And this was probably $1,200 or more back in 1957. So selling it for $700 now is pretty reasonable. And that's what the guy thought too. And he's gonna pick it up in a couple of days. A couple more uh, models, or these are more toys than models. Uh, this is a uh, Ford police car in the box there. And uh, another Mustang II T-top. Really kind of a cheesy, uh, model probably a snap tight as well and uh, these two this pair sold for $30 I had a guy offer me a couple of times just $10 for the Mustang too but I wanted to keep them together and then uh, I also sold this Ford Cobra 2 model kit still sealed in the box this one has a little special meaning to me I used to uh, own a number of these Cobra twos back in the uh, 90s when people were pretty much throwing these cars away. Now they've become quite collectible and uh, the models as well. From 1976 and this sold for $180.